Good day grade 12s and welcome to today's video in which we are going to be looking specifically at the VLOOKUP function. So when we look at this function, here's an example of a spreadsheet. You can see we've got names and surnames. Um, we've got cell numbers in this column. We've got the type of courses, but we don't have the cost in this column. However, on this side over here, we have a column that has the course name. Okay, and it has the cost. So we want to put in some sort of formula here in this cost column that will actually extract that information and bring it over here. And for this reason, we're going to use the VLOOKUP function. So what's entailed in the VLOOKUP? Okay, well, first of all, we've got our VLOOKUP function itself. The second one, this lookup value, this relates to the value that you want to search for. So I want to search for a beginner in this area. Why? Because it's something that is actually in, in common. I mean, I, I can't search for the cost because I don't have it. Okay. So I first wanted to use beginner and this is the value that I want to search for. Then where do I want Excel to actually search for it? Um, the table array. This is where I'm telling Excel to go and have a look for it, to go and find it. And then the column number that I want um, it to actually match up to. So yes, I'm taking beginner. I'm telling Excel, have a look in this range. Excel finds it. And what I actually want is the information in the second column. So bear that in mind when we count our columns, it's one over here. So this will be column one and column two. If I've got three, it'll be column one, column two, column three. And you'll just put in the number wherever um, that item is that you actually want as your answer. And then the range lookup, we use the term false um, if we want to search for an exact value. So let's go and do a practical example of this. All right, so here we are in Excel. Um, here is our spreadsheet. So again, remember, we want to take beginner over here. We want uh, Excel to search for it in this range and match it up to a figure, okay, to in this column and actually bring it over into this area. So how do we do that? Well, we're going to start by going to formulas. We're then going to go to insert function. And over here, we'll just type in, if it's not displaying, we'll just type in VLOOKUP and click go. All right, there we have VLOOKUP and we can simply click on OK. Now, do you remember this that we saw there earlier? All right, we've got our lookup value, which we said we want to click on beginner because that is what we want to um, actually use as the item to be searched for. The table array, where are we going to search for with this item? We're going to go into this range and you can see I can just, I can just highlight that range. Right? Okay, I want to get it in table array. So let's just take this out here quickly. That's the lookup value. Click in table array. Let's highlight that section. And then the column index number. Remember, it's going to be column one and column two. So we type in two. And you can see as I'm doing this, it's actually filling that information out. And then the range lookup, we said, we'll just put in false. And there already you can see it's giving me the answer. I can click OK. And there's my answer. Now, the only problem is that when you decide to do an autofill, it's not going to work. All right. It might work for the first one or so, but it's not going to work all the way. And the reason for that is we need to use absolute cell referencing. OK, so if I go to the next one, you can see that's blank. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to go up to my formula. So when I autofill i wanted to go down through this list okay so c2 i don't want to change the range is what i actually want to put my absolute cell reference in around um, so that that does not change and when i hit enter you see this does not change okay so that formula is still 100 percent correct it's just got the absolute cell reference in and now when i use my autofill feature boom there we go it works 100%. People, this is why we work smarter, not harder. Okay, so we get it right in the first one, do our absolute cell referencing, and we'll be fine. And that is the VLOOKUP.